So I have the uh, Mauno AU PM422, whatever it is. Um, that's I'll correct that in the title of the video. But I had been having trouble with uh, just popping and crackling on song playback. You know, I'm playing uh, music through the microphone, and that's a different video. This microphone has audio output in addition to the onboard audio monitoring through the jack. And I apologize for the noise in the background. I've got my window open, but, you know, it's not like we're recording music here. Long story short, I found the fix for this. So most of my music is probably 44.1 kilohertz. The problem was that the microphone was set here on 192 kilohertz. One of these two doesn't work. So the way that you fix this for your output, and again, this is the audio output on the microphone as a USB device. It shows up as two USB devices on your computer, the audio output uh, you know, which is through the headphone jack and the audio input. So, I'll link to my other video kind of talking about that. It's really a neat feature. The microphone is kind of a, a built-in mixer, so to speak. There's a different video I made on that. But here is the fix. So, you want to find a program on your Mac called Audio MIDI Setup. And that's what this bottom one is. I don't... your OS probably doesn't matter. It might. Uh, this is a fairly late update. I just did a security update the other day. This is February 4th, 2021. So I believe everything's up to date here. Mojave 10.14.6. As you can see, this is a Mac Pro 2009. You can read the specs for yourself. So all you have to do to fix this is you select the headphone down here. See, there's like two outs, which I'm not sure. I guess it's left and right. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But there's your output right there, and then there's the format. So, the biggest format, so to speak, that I could get to work smoothly, and this, I, I believe the 24-bit worked okay, but the two-channel 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, that's actually above the sample rate, I believe, of most of my music. There might be some at 48 kilohertz, and there might be some at 44.1 kilohertz. Um, bit rates on most of my songs are between, excuse me, 128 and I've got a few showing up here like 258, 256, really oddball sampling numbers. And I don't know why this is. It seems like it's not the USB cable. I tried a couple of different cables. Um, you know, there's other things here you can click through and pick all this, but I just use this picker. 48 kilohertz, two channel, 16 bit integer. That seems to be fine. So I don't know what the issue is. If someone is maybe smarter than me can comment on this. I don't know if it's the microphone that's the limitation or the, uh, the Mac OS that has a, a bug in it somewhere. Or maybe it's a, some weird plugin I have. And this drove me crazy for a long time. Uh, clock source default. I think you can change some of this stuff around. There, there may be some other settings to get it work to work at 192 kilohertz. That seems like a little bit of an overkill. Frankly, on that note, if you're listening to really high sample rate audio on your Mac Pro, uh, go ahead and listen to it through the headphone jack. The reason that I use my headphones to listen through the microphone device is because when you're doing a Zoom call, I can hear my own voice monitored real time through the jack and I can also hear the person on the other end in the headphone. So I've got what I'm saying and what I'm talking, you know, my levels, and then I can also hear them coming through the same thing, which is that's what my other video was about, like, because that's a big problem with Zoom calls, like, how do I hear the other person and hear what I sound like? Different video, I'll link to that. I really appreciate it if you'd give me a like and subscribe. I'm underemployed, and so I'm making, in some cases, little obscure videos of things that drove me crazy that I could never fix. So, you know, this is probably going to help 20 people out there, but, you know, surely someone else is going to run into this same issue because I believe this comes set at 192 kilohertz from the factory. Um, 
And if anyone listens to 192 kilohertz sample rate music, let me know. Um, most of the stuff I see just bumps up the bit rate or it's lossless, which I, I don't ever, I mean, maybe somebody is sampling at 192 kilohertz. I don't know. Seems like 48 would be fine because that's above CD quality. So anyway, thanks for watching. Smash that like and subscribe. Even if this didn't help you, hope it did. I'm out there trying. So appreciate your time. And those likes and subscribes really help me out because they do affect the YouTube metrics. Or if I helped you enough, I'm going to have a little donation link. You can click that link and drop me a dollar so I can go to McDonald's and buy a cup of coffee. Pretend we had a cup of coffee and uh, I fixed your problem and uh, you, know, you paid for the coffee. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.